we could be saving your life. We could be saving your children's life today um, with uh, the guest that we have on our program, Dr. Neil Barnard, who um, grew up in uh, North Dakota, oddly enough, in a family of cattle ranchers and physicians. So that <laughs> that's a, an interesting combination right there. But he uh, did receive his MD from George Washington University School of Medicine in Washington, D.C., and is uh, so highly respected in the field of medicine. He's published his research in academic journal journals including Lancet, Oncology, and the American Journal of Cardiology. He's an invited peer reviewer in the, uh, by the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases of the National Institutes of Health. And uh, he also has uh, over a dozen books that he's authored um, collectively, selling millions of copies. These include The Power of Your Plate, Food for Life, Eat Right, Live Longer, Foods That Fight Pain, and Dr. Neil Barnard's program for reversing diabetes. He started the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine in 1995, um, and that uh, is a group of physicians and lay people who uh, operate uh, campaigning against what they feel is uh, an unhealthy path taken by the medical profession and um, has fought the school lunch program and also has instituted the Cancer Project. So here's somebody very active on behalf of our health, on our children, and the animals, too. Welcome, Dr. Barnard. It's a pleasure to have you on Go Vegan with Bob Linden today. Well, it's great to be with you. It's terrific to have you. And uh, you're just back from a trip to India. You, you had a long uh, trip uh, across there, eh? Yeah, diabetes has unfortunately reared its ugly head, not just uh, in the United States, but throughout much of the rest of the world. And India has undergone just dramatic changes. I was last there oh, six or eight years ago, and I couldn't help but be struck by how many things had changed, and the first of which was uh, at the New Delhi airport, there is a McDonald's. Ooh. McDonald's, yuck. And as you uh, walk down the streets, you see Pizza Hut and that sort of thing. And this is a country where there has been a vegetarian tradition, of course, but it's been gradually eroded, and as meat comes in, dairy products uh, increase as well. Um, there is more and more obesity, heart disease, and... India, unfortunately, now has more people with diabetes than any other country on the planet. Really? Yeah. Wow. And even even with a supposed vegetarian population, you mean the, the high dairy um, consumption? Is, well, is... It, it, it's, it's for two reasons. One is that it's a very large country, so it has a lot of people. Um, but the other is that the diet has been westernizing. And the diabetes rates have nearly doubled just in the past decade or two. So it, this, this has nothing to do with the vegetarian tradition. The, the, the vegetarian tradition in India is a very good and healthful tradition. Uh, the, although it's, it was never perfect. No country has a perfect diet. And even uh, those people who were vegetarian in India often consumed dairy products, sometimes to a large degree, and a lot of greasy fried food. The, the change now is more meat has come in. Vegetarian diets are viewed, viewed as old-fashioned by some people, and so meat's coming in, cheese is coming in, and so forth. Well, it seems now that there's a, a diabetes plague. Every commercial on TV seems to be diabetes treatment or medication. or I mean, it seems to have come from out of nowhere and seems to be uh, a plague. It, it is a plague, and, it, and it, it's a huge problem here in the United States. And if you look at the prevalence rates, they've gone up year by year by year. That's all the bad news. Uh, the good news is that we have a lot of information about what is causing this, and it is not caused. It is not caused by a high-carbohydrate diet. It's not caused by eating rice and beans and that kind of thing. Uh, as fat builds up in our diet, it builds up in our bodies, and if you do a CT scan of a person who has type 2 diabetes, that's the adult onset form of the disease, you can see that inside the, their muscle cells, the cells are filling with fat. Even if the person is not overweight, Overall, but inside their cells, there's a buildup of tiny fat droplets. That is what stops insulin, the hormone insulin, from being able to take sugar out of the blood and put it into the cells. In other words, it's very much like if you arrive home from work, you take your key out of your pocket, you try to put it in the, the door of your, the, the lock on your front door, and it doesn't work because some mischievous person has put gum in your lock. Well, it doesn't work anymore. Insulin cannot open the door to the cell, so to speak, if there's a lot of fat inside. 
a low-fat vegan diet, because it's vegan, there's obviously no animal fat. If you're limiting the amount of vegetable oil that you use, not using added oil, uh, then it's low-fat all, uh, all around. Uh, and what you see is uh, gradual, we believe it, what is happening is that the, the fat inside the cells drains out uh, to a degree, and the uh, insulin sensitivity restores itself. And the research that we have done shows that a vegan diet is very likely the most powerful diet ever devised for, uh, for people with diabetes. Wow. Now, exactly, really, what is diabetes and what are the dangers? What, what's so awful about it? Well, it, it, it means there's too much sugar in the blood. The sugar is glucose, and it's supposed to be going into the cells, like the muscle cells, to power them, to power our movements, or, or to the brain, to power our thoughts and, and the other brain functions. And the problem is that if sugar builds up in the blood because it can't get into the cells, it becomes toxic to the blood vessels. So in the back of your eye, you have tiny blood vessels that allow the retina to be healthy. Well, they're attacked by this high blood sugar level, and it's, diabetes is a leading cause of blindness. There are tiny blood vessels in the kidneys, and diabetes is a leading cause of kidney failure, so that people need a transplant or, or dialysis or they die. And the tiny blood vessels to the legs are attacked, and it's, diabetes is one of the principal reasons for gangrene and uh, amputation. So it's, it's a serious problem, and uh, we believe that this diet, it should be, be the, the, the first treatment that is contemplated by anybody who's got this disease. So the diet should be the first contemplation, and, and the solution you find, the, the results you're getting, would be people uh, transforming to a vegan diet. Yes, a, a vegan diet that's also low in fat. And I should say that, that if a person has diabetes, I would encourage them not to cancel their doctor's appointment, throw away their medicines, and simply go vegan. What I would say is, is talk with your doctor, let your doctor know that you want to make this diet change. And your doctor can monitor your, your progress. And as you improve, your doctor can take you off your medication uh, if the time is right for doing that. Um, and uh, so people should not just you know, change their medicines on their own because diabetes is a serious condition. But in the studies that we have done, you see that over time, the majority of people um, will have an improvement. Either they, they come off their medicines or they need less medicines. Their, their cholesterol comes down, their weight comes down, their blood pressure comes down. It's better all the way around. Hmm. Well, that's uh, good advice. You, you're, you're kind of the doctor, I think, who can always say, I told you so. Um, <laughs> it's un unfortunate in, in some instances, but I, I do want to talk to you um, after the break a, a bit about the, uh, the beef recall and, and the school lunch program and uh, um, some uh, the alternatives to animals in medical schools and um, uh, we have a, a number of subjects that we would like to broach with Dr. Neil Barnard, who is the president and founder of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. You can go to pcrm.org, pcrm.org. I always look forward to receiving my copy of Good Medicine, uh, which Dr. Barnard uh, edits. It's uh, fascinating. So I suggest you go to that website, and we will continue our discussion. I also want to invite you to support this radio program because it costs us $4,000 every week week. Free speech is expensive. You know, it's a bribocracy, so we have to pay the radio stations for the time, and that's the way uh, we get on the air with uh, important information like this that you will really hear nowhere else. Um, this is uh, uh, such an important vehicle for information related to health and the environment and to, uh, to uh, animal issues. It's Go Vegan with Bob Linden, and we will continue coming up with Dr. Neil Barnard.